I'm saying is... We're not accepted in your religion. Your religion? What, what I would say bullshit. is this. This is what I say, and I say it every time I come out. God commands all people everywhere to repent. All people, you're one of the all people, right? I'm Christian. You must I'm repent Christian. of whatever sin you're Thank involved you. in. doesn't matter if it's well, lying, I, stealing, drunkenness. Why are you sinning? Because I am being Be myself and I am Because you're a sinner. Be That's why you sin. You were born a sinner. I'm you were conceived in sin. So were you born a sinner? Yes, of course. I needed my I needed to repent of my sin too. I'm so no you're better be right down in hell no, I'm not, I'm Satan's not. born. I'm talking to this lady here. I'm no better than you. I'm really not. I'm not here saying I'm a better person than you. I'm saying I'm better off. I know where I'm going when I die, but that doesn't mean to say that you can't know the same. You see? Does that, does that explain it a bit better? So you, you still want to believe what you want to believe? That's all right then. Say again. Church of England allow gay couples yeah. to be married. So how is being gay a sin? Some Church of England, not them all. There's a fucking not gay priest in Cardiff. <laughs> yeah, I know. There's women priests and all. That's wrong. A woman isn't to preach. Oh. The Bible says a woman is the is a woman is place. A woman is not to preach the word of God. The word of God is only to be preached by men. In pulpits. I'm a Christian, Without yeah. Born again. Are you born again? I don't see your vagina. That doesn't... Yeah. So when did you become a Christian? No, nobody's born a Christian, my friend. You must be... You must be born again. That's what I'm trying to educate you with. The truth today, Jesus Christ said, unless a man or woman is born again, they don't enter heaven. Because you're a sinner. You're born a sinner, just like everybody else, regardless what's, who you sleep with. Represent me how you want. I'm here. I love my neighbour as I love myself. So do you love the gays? I love everybody. I, I don't hate anybody out here today. I love you all. I love you all enough to warn you to flee from God's anger. I'm here to tell you good news today that you can be saved from the consequence of your sin. Just like I've been saved. Be careful of your language. There's little children about. That's that's not clever. It's not big and clever. But that's what God says. He says you must be born again. If you're not born again, you don't enter heaven. You need a heart change. You need you need God to take take away your stony heart, like He did to me 18 years ago. He, he changed me. He made me a new creature in Christ. He gave me a heart that hated my sin. And, and loves the God of the Bible. And until that happens to you, you're not a Christian. It doesn't matter if you've been baptized, confirmed, you serve in church, you even preach in the pulpit. You must be born again. No, I'm not a priest. Well, I'm not a, I'm not a Catholic priest, if that's what you mean. What's that? Who? A lot of priests. Yeah, because they're not. Because they're not. Listen. Okay, my friend. The Bible. The Bible's God's word. We live our life. By this, no, we, don't. we align up our lives with the, what God says, not what priests say, not Have what the Pope like says. And if any, let, let me help you here. If, if anybody, whether they're a priest or a Pope or a nun or any other religious hypocrite, comes along and, and says, "Well, what, what that preacher is saying there today in the street, that's not right," you know, and he contradicts the Word of God, he's wrong. Because I follow this, I believe this. All I'm doing is is telling you what this says. And you're not, cover, some ink you're, some you're not reading the word of God, are you? So priests don't. You've just said you're going to read what says. No, priests, priests don't. don't. Read Catholic read priests, they don't read the word of God. That's right. I used to be a Roman Catholic. What did you I used to be a Roman Catholic. I became a Christian 18 years ago. God saved me, put me in my right mind. I, I became a, a new creature in Christ. And now I live for something greater than pleasure and self. And you can have that hope too. I know where I'm going when I die. Do you? Do you know where you're going when you die when God takes your life? That's all that matters to any one of us, my friends. Well, the only thing that will matter to each and every one of us when we die is are our sins forgiven? No, I'm not a Catholic priest. No, I used to be a Roman Catholic. Yeah. Yeah, most Catholic priests. You know why that is? Because they don't follow the Bible. They won't won't let Roman Catholic priests they literally marry. Look like the definition of a sex offender. <laughs> really? Well, yes. that's a bold claim. You can call me what you want, but this is still true. When you need.
need your and sins you forgiven. And every single day that you live and God lends you breath is another day storing up wrath, storing up God's anger. Is your God angry? Is your God angry? Is your God angry? Yeah, but this isn't my own opinion, my friend. This is from the Bible. Your, my, this isn't just my beliefs alone. This is the word of God. Your creator, the one who commands you today to repent. Well, I quite happily push it on other people if you're going to be saved from the, a fate worse than death and when you die. Your soul is in great danger. You're about to perish. Most of you are far more interested in playing Candy Crush and Fortnite and watching Netflix and where your soul will spend forever. That's how sad it is. Yeah, you can waste your life. Don't waste your life. Stop living for pleasure and you live for something greater life. than pleasure Rassy and self and live for Jesus Christ. I can't answer pleasure. two people at once. Yeah, but you know, do you not see? Do you not? Do you not see this? The foolishness of that. Do you not see the foolishness of that? You can have all the pleasure and all the sin that this world has to offer. You can have it all. You can have it all. And you know what? I know you do, but God can change your heart so that you hate your sin. I know you hate. I know you love your sin. That's why I'm here to warn you that living that life and continuing on that path is not going to be a good end. It's going to be a terrible end. You'll stand before an angry God who's a far more terrifying being than the devil, than any terrorist. Jesus Christ is God in flesh, your Creator, and it's a terrifying thing to stand before Him, the one who knows your thought life. And on the day of judgment, when you stand before God, all your secret sin, everything done in the dark, that you think no one else knows about, will be brought into the light on the day of judgment. Oh yes, you, that's what's going to happen, my friend, but it won't be a pleasurable experience. I'm not here to promote myself. I'm not here to promote myself. No, listen, listen, my friend. Who, who I am is irrelevant. What matters is, is this true? That's what you should be asking yourself. You're asking the wrong question. Is this true? That's what you need to be asking yourself. Not who am I? I'm a nobody. I'm a nobody telling everybody about somebody who can save everybody. God bless you, my friend. The Bible says, for God... So loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. God killed his son on that cross. How can there be any other way to peace with God? It's written. It's written. You know it happened. You're just suppressing the truth that God has given you. You know why? Not because you're intelligent, but because you love your sin. You're suppressing the truth. I know you love your sin. Like, that's why I'm here. You're sin-loving creatures, just like I said earlier. You're drinking iniquity like water. And apart from the grace of God, you'd be worse than Hitler. You're comparing the gays to Hitler. I'm here preaching, preaching good news. You're too busy worshipping idols like celebrities. That's right, my friend. see what's real. That's right. He's all worship Kim Kardashian and that. So I bet you all. I bet you go on Instagram. I bet you follow like celebrities. You're a whole anime made by four-year-old Indonesian children. My old man died in your Primark. You fucking tramp. Shut your mouth. I love my Primark. So please consider where you're going to spend forever, because at the end of the day, in a hundred years from now. Nobody in this street will be here, will they? They'll have entered into eternity. And all that will matter when you enter into eternity is are your sins forgiven? Well, uh, not, uh, yeah, you can enjoy your life. You can sleep with whoever you feel like sleeping with. You can have a pleasurable existence. You can store up. You can have all the, the sin that's on offer. You can have it all. But Jesus Christ said, what will you give in exchange for your soul? What will it profit anyone who gains the whole world and loses soul in hell? Your soul is your prized possession. You're going to be in hell with everybody else. I'm going to heaven. Nothing can change that. You see? And the Bible. What makes you think that we want to fucking end up in heaven with you, Yeah.
Yeah, well, if God, you think? if God changes your heart, you might be out here preaching with me. You might be out here telling these people. No, you don't. Yeah, it's, yeah, but, but the God of the Bible doesn't allow filthy language like that. You know, so you, whatever God you've got in your heart, it's not the God of the Bible. Now, hang on. I'm trying to answer three questions at once here. Don't talk over people. Your God says, judge not, lest really? you be judged. And right. You've just judged everyone here. You can yeah. say the If not for certain things, we'd all be worse than Hitler. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty fucking judgmental, you prick. Uh, that's, that's, that's yeah. what the, you're going to wait, you're gonna wait for a discussion, my friend. You're just going to walk off. Yeah, you haven't made any valid point. Because he said his piece now. Everything I say, my friend, comes from the Bible. Is it Hitler in the Bible? You know, you know what the history of the Bible is. It, let me, let me help you out. The history of the Bible is God cast out. You know the Bible. How many? This, the Bible's contained, by, uh, it contains 66 books from Gener Genesis to Revelation. 66 bo individual books, and they were written over 1,500 years. That's a long time, right? So it didn't just happen overnight in a little cupboard somewhere. Men didn't conspire in secret to spoil our fun. Uh, it, it was written over 1,500 years. And uh, over 40 different authors. Most of them didn't know each other, so they didn't conspire and plot and scheme in secret. And it's got a beginning. It's got a beginning, a middle, and an end. It's, a, it's, it's all about one person, about Jesus Christ. It's, a, it's, a, it's got a common theme. It's got accurate, detailed prophecies, and it's the word of God, and the Bible says this. No prophecy ever came by the act of human will, but holy men of God spoke as they were carried along by God's Holy Spirit. God has put his word together so that you can read it for yourself. Take your mind off Candy Crush and Fortnite and Netflix and read the word of God yourself. You don't have to take my word for it. You don't have to believe my word, my friends. You can read the word of God and know the truth yourself. You shall know the truth, the Bible says, and the truth shall set you free. The truth shall set you free. The truth. The only truth there is, my friend. Okay, the next time you see Jesus, if you if you stand before Jesus unforgiven, the next time you see him, you'll be on your face like a little baby crying for mercy, and it'll be too late. Nobody yeah, wants your fucking mercy. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I can't give you mercy, but the God of the Bible can. At this moment in time, the reason that you have air in your lungs is because he's been merciful to you. You are really living In God we live and move and have our being. You didn't give yourself life. Everything that you have in your life, including the air in your lungs, comes from the God of the Bible. Evolution's a fairy tale for grown-ups. Don't let evolution make a monkey out of you, my friends. You didn't evolve from pond life. Was that a pond there? Yeah, a little pun. I like a bit of humour now and again. Keeps me going. Well, I don't care whether you agree with my humour or not. What I care is if you agree with the truth. What's real? Do you care what's real? I believe in God, but you don't believe in God because I'm a gay man. The devil believes in God, my dear. Believing in God isn't going to help you. The devil believes in God. You've already sinned enough, if, apart from who you sleep with, you've already sinned enough against a holy God for him to throw you into a devil's hell when you stand before him. That's reality. That's the truth. And that's why you need your sins forgiven. Yeah, if, you, if God puts you in your right mind. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But, So please consider your eternal destiny. Life is short. Life is a vapor that appears for a little while and then vanishes. You might be young now, but in a short while, in just a little while, you're going to be old and decrepit, wrinkly, gray-haired, with creaky bones. That's if God gives you life that long. And all that will matter to you, my friend, is where you're going to spend forever. Where will your soul spend an eternity? Because it is going to spend eternity somewhere. Either in a place of perfection. We all want a perfect life, don't we? We all, we all 
moan over life. Life's not perfect. Why does this bad thing happen? Why does that bad, bad thing happen? Why is there so much misery in life? You've asked yourselves that question before, haven't you? There's a lot of misery in this world. A lot of people, a lot of suffering. People, uh, people suffer, young kids and elderly. It's terrible. We live in a wicked world. We live in a fallen world. But God has prepared a world that's perfect. A place where righteousness dwells, where there's no more sorrow, no more mental issues, no more depression and anxiety, and no more sin. Anti mental health issues with these little rafis stood about here. And so many people are on the broad path that leads to destruction. Most people, think about this my friend, I know this is a bit of a revelation to most of you. Thank you. 